Alrighty, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another quick CyberX fundamental video recap of last week, explaining why predominantly risk assets were so bullish last week, and we saw a sell-off in the dollar. Going over those fundamental factors, and then forward looking into next week, what we should be paying attention to on the U.S. data front as risk asset investors. So if you enjoy these deep dives, just showing you guys some information that we provide to our private CyberX community, do us a favor, like this video breakdown, share it on your social media platforms, especially if you find it informative. Let's jump into the previous week's recap. So last week, we had the release of the highly anticipated ADP and non-farm employment change data, which failed to bolster the dollar as private sector job growth slightly underperformed expectations. Despite adding 140,000 positions in February, falling short of the Dow Jones estimate of around 150,000, coupled with the declining U.S. long-term treasury yields, the dollar faced downward pressure at the beginning of the week. Now, throughout the entirety of the week on Wednesday and Thursday, we also had Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell's remarks further exasperate the dollar's downward decline, confirming expectations of imminent rate cuts. Powell's affirmation of the potential rate cuts in the upcoming year fueled selling pressure on the dollar as investors adjusted their portfolios in anticipation of a more accommodative monetary policy stance. By the end of the week, the dollar index extended its loss to roughly around 102.300, hitting its lowest level since mid-January. Bitcoin hit an all-time high, pushing above $69,000. Mixed results from the February payrolls report added to the dollar's woes with downward revisions to previous job gains and an unexpected increase in the unemployment rate as well, along with slower than anticipated wage growth contributed to market concerns. Overall, the market interpreted these developments last week as indicative of a cooling labor market, reinforcing expectations of impending interest rate cuts by the Federal Reserve. Now, these are some of the reasons why last week investors favored risk assets over the dollar, driving the continued flourishing of risk assets and sustaining selling pressure on the United States dollar. Moving on into next week, we need to understand these driving factors into risk assets because if this upcoming week any of these dynamics change, here at CyperX and the vast majority of you individuals watching need to be reactive. And we hope that by giving you all this valued information to be paying attention to, you all can do exactly that. Now, forward looking into the week ahead, we wrote this for the CyperX private community. We do these fundamental breakdowns on an intraday basis, keeping our community in the loop with what we should be paying attention to. This week's economic data releases are extremely crucial for gauging the market sentiment, i.e. really truly understanding risk on, risk off sentiment, what drives demand for risk assets in this ever-evolving landscape, and what creates less of a demand for risk assets and an inflow back into the dollar. Now, particularly in determining whether investors will favor risk-on or risk-off assets this week on Tuesday, all eyes are on the core CPI month-over-month, month, CPI month-over-month, month, and CPI year-over-year year figures. To ideally sustain the current appetite for risk assets, it's imperative for these inflation metrics to either decrease from previous levels or come in lower than anticipated. Such outcomes would most likely bolster the prevailing narrative supporting expectations of potential rate cuts by the Federal Reserve, which has been a key driver behind the recent bullish momentum in risk assets that we've seen over the past couple of months. However, again, I always like to play the devil's advocate. It is essential to consider the Federal Reserve's stance on inflation. The central bank in previous meetings and announcements has indicated its readiness to implement tightening measures should inflation fail to continue its downward trend and instead, i.e. the opposite, show signs of increasing. In the scenario where CPI readings exceed expectations or come out higher than previous readings, it is most likely to prompt a bullish turnaround for the U.S. dollar. Market participants would most likely begin pricing in more hawkish tones from the Federal Reserve, potentially diminishing the likelihood of a rate cut and signaling a need for prolonged higher interest rates. This shift in sentiment could, again, it is 
again, a likely scenario, weight on risk assets potentially leading to a pullback scenario, especially if the dollar strengthens further intraday. So here at CyberX, we will be looking to take advantage of that if we do see higher inflation readings, stronger dollar, risk off market mood, leading to a pullback in risk assets, creating discounted opportunities for better entries, considering where the market is at right now, i.e. elevated from its previous 2023 lows. Now, as the week progresses, our attention will shift towards Thursday releases, including things like PPI figures, unemployment claims, and retail sales. These data points will provide further insights into inflationary pressures, consumer spending trends, and labor market conditions, all of which can significantly influence market sentiment and investors' risk appetite. So that is why we need to be dialed in to this information and the days that it comes out, either be it positive or negative for the U.S. economy. Finally, on Friday, key indicators such as the Empire State Manufacturing Index, industrial production month over month, preliminary consumer sentiment, and preliminary inflation expectations will be closely watched. These data releases, as we head off into the weekend, will offer additional clues about the health of the economy and consumer sentiment, further shaping market dynamics. So I hope that this video breakdown gave you guys a solid recap to firmly understand why last week, outside of the immense Bitcoin ETF demand via institutional investors that we saw, why there's been a demand for risk assets. This whole entire narrative that at some point in time, the Federal Reserve is going to cut interest rates, i.e. driving demand for risk assets, has been the prevailing narrative. We need to be cognizant and be reactive if those dynamics shift hands, if we see a higher demand for dollar, i.e. creating a risk off market environment so that way we can react. I hope that that is not the latter that takes place next week. I hope that we see lower inflation readings coupled with downbeat U.S. data that further weighs on the dollar and continues the flourishing demand for risk assets. But be cognizant, be aware out there, make sure that you all are paying attention to these metrics. I will continue to do my best to update you all. If you want further insights and daily updates, consider joining our monthly subscription program or in our Discord, we release all of these fundamentals before the news comes out to give our community valuable insights into what we as risk asset investors should be paying attention to for the week ahead. As always, many blessings, and I will see you guys in the next video breakdown.